When we think of the most fearsome dinosaurs, one name always comes to mind, Tyrannosaurus rex. The king of the dinosaurs has dominated pop culture for decades with its massive jaws, bone-crushing bite, and fearsome reputation as the ultimate predator. But what if I told you there was another dinosaur, one that could not only challenge T-Rex, but might even surpass it in terms of sheer power, adaptability, and uniqueness? Enter Spinosaurus, the enigmatic giant of the Cretaceous period. With its sail-like spine, crocodile-like snout, and semi-aquatic lifestyle, Spinosaurus was unlike any other dinosaur. It was a predator so specialized, so bizarre, and so formidable that it has sparked endless debates among paleontologists and dinosaur enthusiasts alike. This is the story of Spinosaurus, the only dinosaur that could truly challenge T-Rex and why it might just be the most fascinating predator to ever walk or swim the Earth. The story of Spinosaurus begins in 1912 when German paleontologist Ernst Stromer discovered its remains in the Bahariya Formation of Egypt. The fossils, which included a partial skeleton and distinctive vertebrae, revealed a creature unlike anything Stromer had ever seen. The most striking feature was the dinosaur's sail-like spine, formed by elongated neural spines that could reach up to 1.65 meters 5.4 feet in height. Stromer named the creature Spinosaurus aegyptiacus, meaning Egyptian spine lizard. But Spinosaurus's story took a tragic turn during World War II. In 1944, the original fossils were destroyed in a bombing raid on Munich, leaving only Stromer's notes and sketches as evidence of this incredible dinosaur. For decades, Spinosaurus remained a mystery, known only from fragmentary remains and tantalizing descriptions. It wasn't until the early 21st century that new discoveries began to shed light on this enigmatic predator. In 2014, a team of paleontologists led by Nizar Ibrahim uncovered a nearly complete Spinosaurus skeleton in the Kem Kem beds of Morocco. This groundbreaking discovery revealed a dinosaur that was even more bizarre and more formidable than anyone had imagined. Spinosaurus was a dinosaur of extremes, Measuring up to 15 meters, 49 feet in length, and weighing as much as 7 to 10 tons, it was one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs to ever exist. But what truly set Spinosaurus apart was its unique anatomy. The most iconic feature of Spinosaurus was its sail. This structure, formed by elongated neural spines, has been the subject of much debate. Some scientists believe it was used for display, helping Spinosaurus attract mates or intimidate rivals. Others suggest it may have played a role in thermoregulation, helping the dinosaur absorb or dissipate heat. Whatever its purpose, the sail made Spinosaurus one of the most visually striking dinosaurs of all time. But Spinosaurus's adaptations didn't stop there. Its skull, which could reach up to 1.75 meters, 5.7 feet in length, was long and narrow, resembling that of a modern crocodile. This shape was perfectly suited for catching fish, Spinosaurus's primary prey. Its conical teeth, which lacked the serrations seen in other theropods, were ideal for gripping slippery prey. Perhaps the most surprising discovery was Spinosaurus's semi-aquatic lifestyle. Unlike other theropods, which were primarily land-dwelling predators, Spinosaurus was built for life in and around water. Its short, powerful legs and broad, paddle-like feet suggest it was an excellent swimmer, while its dense bones helped it stay submerged. This adaptation made Spinosaurus the first known aquatic dinosaur, a true anomaly in the world of theropods. Spinosaurus's semi-aquatic lifestyle set it apart from other large theropods like T. rex and Giganotosaurus. While these predators ruled the land, Spinosaurus dominated the rivers and waterways of Cretaceous North Africa. Its habitat, the Kem Kem Beds, was a vast network of rivers, lakes, and swamps teeming with life. Here, Spinosaurus was the apex predator. Its diet consisted primarily of fish, including giant coelacanths and lungfish, but it was also capable of taking down larger prey. Fossil evidence suggests Spinosaurus may have hunted pterosaurs, small dinosaurs, and even other predators like Carcharodontosaurus. One of the most fascinating aspects of Spinosaurus's hunting behavior is its potential use of pressure-sensitive snout receptors. Similar to those found in modern crocodiles, these receptors would have allowed Spinosaurus to detect the movements of prey in murky water, giving it a significant advantage in its aquatic environment. But Spinosaurus wasn't just a hunter, it was also a scavenger. Its powerful jaws and conical teeth were well-suited for crushing bones and tearing apart carcasses, making it a versatile and opportunistic feeder. The question on everyone's mind, could Spinosaurus take on T-Rex? While these two giants never actually met, Spinosaurus lived in North Africa, while T-Rex roamed North America. It's a fascinating thought experiment. In terms of size, Spinosaurus had the edge. At up to 15 meters in length, it was longer than T-Rex, which measured around 12 meters, 39 feet. 
However, T-Rex was more heavily built with a stronger bite force and more robust limbs. Where Spinosaurus truly excelled was in its adaptability. While T-Rex was a land-based predator, Spinosaurus was a master of both land and water. Its semi-aquatic lifestyle gave it access to a wider range of prey and habitats, making it a more versatile predator. In a hypothetical battle, the outcome would depend on the environment. On land, T-Rex's strength and bite force would likely give it the upper hand. But in the water, Spinosaurus's swimming ability and agility would make it a formidable opponent. Ultimately, both dinosaurs were apex predators in their respective domains, each uniquely adapted to its environment. Spinosaurus's unique adaptations raise an important question. How did this dinosaur evolve to become so different from other theropods? The answer lies in its environment. During the Cretaceous period, North Africa was a lush, riverine landscape teeming with life. This abundance of water and prey created the perfect conditions for a semi-aquatic predator to evolve. Over millions of years, Spinosaurus developed specialized adaptations, such as its crocodile-like snout, paddle-like feet, and dense bones that allowed it to thrive in this unique ecosystem. But Spinosaurus's evolution also came with trade-offs. Its short legs and dense bones made it less agile on land, while its specialized diet limited its ability to hunt larger prey. These adaptations made Spinosaurus a highly specialized predator, perfectly suited to its environment, but less versatile than other theropods. Spinosaurus's reign as the river monster of North Africa came to an end around 95 million years ago, long before the asteroid impact that wiped out the dinosaurs. But its legacy lives on. Spinosaurus has reshaped our understanding of dinosaur evolution, revealing a group of animals far more diverse and adaptable than previously thought. Its semi-aquatic lifestyle challenges the traditional view of theropods as land-based predators, opening up new possibilities for how dinosaurs lived and evolved. Today, Spinosaurus continues to captivate scientists and dinosaur enthusiasts alike. Its unique anatomy, mysterious behavior, and enigmatic history make it one of the most fascinating dinosaurs to ever walk or swim the Earth. Spinosaurus was more than just a dinosaur. It was a marvel of evolution, a predator so unique and so formidable that it could truly challenge T-Rex. From its sail-like spine to its crocodile-like snout, Spinosaurus was a creature unlike any other, perfectly adapted to its watery world. So the next time you think of the ultimate dinosaur rivalry, remember Spinosaurus, the river monster that redefined what it meant to be a predator. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of Spinosaurus, don't forget to explore more stories of evolution's most extraordinary creatures. From the skies to the seas, the ancient world is full of wonders waiting to be discovered.